How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... What? I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. I see other kids get adopted, leave the system, not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Today I do. Socking your own brother in the jaw is one for the record books. I don't even feel it anymore. That's not the point. Look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. You've got everything figured out. And I don't.
Is that for me? It is now. What is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick. Obviously, but... I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got. And how much better I was going to make it. Gabe, I can't accept this if it means so much to you. No, no. That's exactly why I want you to keep it. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. It's not that simple. I've made so many mistakes. We all have. Survival isn't a neat and tidy process. But it's way better than the alternative. Don't forget, I'm here to help you. That's not going to change. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 